Joining us today is Greg McPherson, biotechnologist, pharmacist, and founder of SRW Laboratories. With over a decade spent researching cellular aging, Greg is at the forefront of longevity science. Today, we're diving into groundbreaking research that suggests we may be able to not just slow, but also reverse biological aging. So Greg, welcome to Modern Health Span. So let's start with kind of the big question. Why is reversing biological age such a major force in the health span conversation at the moment? Yeah, look, I think when we talk about longevity, it's it's definitely um, evolving towards health span, so living healthier for longer. And I think it's a really important evolution of the conversation because uh, it literally isn't about living longer, it's about living healthier for longer. And uh, the biological age clocks, I think, are the most significant biomarker um, that are really giving us information on what's going on at a cellular level. And, um, you know, this biological age, which I'm sure your listeners and audience will be very familiar with, um, but it's essentially um, a, a way for us to chart how well or how young our cells are acting. And I think this is ultimately um, the, 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 the best biomarker that, that that is out there right now. So you have a system called the cell system, which is a way of you know, helping or supporting cellular health. So can you tell us what is it and how does it do that? Yeah, we have a protocol and it's a three, uh, I guess, three part protocol. Um, we, we've very much focused or formulated our product based on the hallmarks of aging. And We've also recognized that different hallmarks come online at different times or need different support at different times, which makes the SRW system quite different. Um, so uh, what it means essentially is in your 30s, you'd take one of our products and then in your 40s, you take two of our products and then 50s and beyond, um, you take three. And uh, the, the cell one formula is targeting something called you know genome stability effectively, which is, appears to be the primary driver of aging. Um, cell two is about energetics. We need extra help with our mitochondria and carry on as we head into our forties. And then the uh, cell three product is around cellular housekeeping, and we need extra help with that in terms of autophagy and proteostasis and so on as we age. Recently, uh, there was a clinical trial published in Aging Journal, which was led by uh, True Diagnostics, the one of the companies that looks at epigenetic age, among other things. And they were using uh, the cell system as part of this study. So can you talk about what was the findings of this and what was what made the study design special? Yeah, Richard, this is a landmark trial and it's, it's really exciting because for the first time we've actually validated that targeting the hallmarks of aging as a strategy to slow aging. And uh, what we did is that we we followed up. We had a lot of, uh, I guess, anecdotal feedback from the range that people were experiencing benefits, and we thought that we should really validate that um, for, you know, for for our products and for for the SRW brand. Um, and so what we did is we gave uh, fifty Americans um, aged between uh, fifty five and eighty, with the average age of sixty five, the SRW protocol for a year, and. Uh, we found that they came out of the study physiologically younger. So this means, you know, they were lighter and stronger and and uh, and leaner, if you will. Um, but from the biological age perspective, um, we were able to reverse uh, biological age by 5.71 years, which is a phenomenal result um, and able to do that in just one year. So you used epigenetic age as one of the key markers in the study. And we've kind of talked about it a little bit. So what exactly is epigenetic age and epigenetic clocks and how do they tell us whether someone is becoming biologically younger? Yeah, epigenetic clocks, are, I guess you might call them um, timestamps on our, on our DNA, but they, they reflect uh, different patterns of, of uh, methyl groups that are, are packed on our DNA. And these are often uh, determine what genes that we have uh, are turned off or on. Um, when you have a younger biological clock it means that genes that are perhaps associated with being younger are actually turned on and some of those genes that are perhaps associated with being older are turned off so it's a really interesting as i said biomarker giving us a i guess an idea of how we're traveling through time you want a younger biological age clock because um it turns out that when you have an older 
looking biological clock, then you've got increased um, risk of some of the conditions that we associate with being older. So uh, running on a, a lower clock or a younger clock just means that you may be reducing your risk for some of these issues. Can I ask what clocks did you use in the study or were used in the study? Yeah, so we used a range of clocks. Um, the beauty of working with True Diagnostic is they have access to a number of commercial clocks, but also a number of academic clocks that haven't actually been made public. Uh, so we worked with the Horvath clock. We worked with something called Systems Age, Symphony Age. We had clocks relating to different organ systems as well, like lung age, lung age and brain age and so on. So the, the clock that uh, got the 5.71-year biological age reversal is the systems age, which is a, a really significant clock because it actually looks at all of the different organ systems that uh, we we have and assesses, uh, gives you, a, a, I guess, a generalised score across the, the, the body and across all the different organs. Based on these results, what would this mean for everyday people? So how should they think about supplements as part of their longevity lifestyle? Yeah, so it's a great question. And I think the very first thing we need to do is from a foundational perspective is to look after your your lifestyle. You, you can't out supplement or out medicate a poor lifestyle. So, uh, you know, these there are probably there are a multitude of things that you can do, but there are five main things. And these are well known to slow aging. Um, and these are keeping fit, um, exercising regularly, having a, a good diet, managing your stress, getting enough sleep and having you know, good social relationships. And uh, if you can tick those boxes off, you're on a, a pretty good track in terms of a longevity lifestyle. But what we're learning is that you can add more to that through supplementation. And uh, we're really excited because we've got, I guess, one of the first clinically validated protocols which means that you can kind of, you don't have to, I guess, go down the biohacker rabbit hole and take a few risks and, and, and play a guessing game. What we've got is something that uh, you can take and that you know after one year that you're going to come out of it um, with perhaps a youth, more youthful phenotype, a more youthful body, um, and also measurable biological age reversal. It is always good to get the uh, clinical trials uh, results and, and to have that data. And uh, yeah, we, we also agree that having the, the the lifestyle factors are always the, the baseline. So NAD plus is one of the most important um, biochemicals in our body. So what makes the plexosome and our technology so effective at raising NAD? Yeah, so I, I couldn't agree more. I think NAD is, is just such a, a vital compound uh, in our bodies. I think it's involved in something like 300 different cellular processes that's involved in energetics and certainly involved in DNA protection and uh, mitochondrial um, function. Um, and it's shown over so many different studies that um, boosting NAD is uh, significant benefits for our health, um, especially as we age because it declines. Um, so what we've developed is a form of nicotinamide riboside. Um, we've wrapped it in a liposomal form, but in a particularly effective form that's proprietary to SRW. It's called a plexosome and uh, it essentially helps absorption of the, the molecule into the into the body. And uh, what we've found is it can increase um, absorption up to four and a half times. Um, but we've also done something I think quite clever and that is that we've combined uh, it with a molecule called apigenin, which is a uh, a, a flavonoid, um, this particular molecule uh, blocks an enzyme called CD38, which is responsible for chewing up a lot of the NAD inside our cells. And uh, CD38 is an enzyme which we uh, we get more and more as we age. Um, you see more um, relating to inflammation and also when we've got more weight on as we age. So what our system does essentially is introduce more NAD or substrate for NAD or precursors, uh, but also we shut down the body chewing through it quite as quickly as well. So the over over uh, the end result essentially is that uh, you end up with more access to more NAD in your cells. So how does the cell system fit into the broader longevity conversation? I mean, there is a lot of noise and there's a lot of options. So how is kind of cell different? Yeah, I think uh, where we're different is that we have a clinically validated protocol now. So this means that um, consumers uh, can 
can you know, take, I guess it just takes the risk out of you know, investing a lot of money in the protocols that are out there um, because th there is very little validation of these protocols. Um, so we're just incredibly excited to have a formula um, that longevity doctors can prescribe, that consumers can take with trust um, that, that the protocol has actually been validated. And, you know, we're not stopping there as well. Like we're continuing to... Uh, develop the formula and develop the protocol so that uh, we we continue to improve on what uh, consumers can actually expect when they take this protocol. Could you talk a little bit about what the protocol is like? I mean, is it uh, like daily and how much? Yeah, definitely. So it's, it's six capsules a day, two capsules each of cell one, cell two and cell three. Um, but we also encourage you to have that healthy lifestyle. So beyond just the supplements, we're sharing with you information on what you can do in very small and easy changes that you can adopt to uh, to support, a, a, I guess, a longevity, longevity mindset. Um, so the combination of the two are incredibly strong. And, uh, and what we do encourage people to do is to take a full year with the protocol uh, the reason for that is that the body actually adjusts, and it's something we learned over the trial. Your body adjusts to the protocol, and um, for the first few months, it can actually um, make some of those clocks spin a bit faster as the body adjusts to the protocol. And then the, the magic happens towards the end of the protocol, and this is where we see the most significant reversal in biological age. So we, we do ask people to commit to a year um, uh, just because that's, you know, this is not a, a, a drug, it's a gentle way to shift the body back towards a healthy, um, I guess, longevity cellular behaviour, for want of a better term. So what is next for SRW Labs and for research in this space? Yeah, we're doing uh, work with uh, Ancilico Medicine to actually evolve the protocol. We're... Um, looking at uh, exactly where we can tweak and, and refine the formula so that we target the hallmarks of aging more successfully. Um, I think we've validated that a, a strategy around the hallmarks of aging is, is, is effective. So I think we can do better there. Um, and we're also uh, continuing to I guess, extend, extend our research as well. So moving beyond just the first 50 and looking at much larger cohorts, also looking at different age bands within those cohorts as well, because we think that, uh, well, we just don't know, like is it best to take this uh, range in your 30s, 40s or 50s, when's the best time to start? So um, right now we know that we can reverse biological age by 5.71 years. Um, let's keep digging and unpacking this um, and answering some of the questions that we that came up from the study as well. So long story short, more research, a refinement of what we're doing, um, and ultimately um, a, a bigger score in terms of biological age reversal. For people who are unfamiliar with in silico medicine, could you talk a little bit about what their process is for uh, I get it's not drug discovery, but uh, and supplement discovery. Yeah, well, so in silico medicine is the world's leading AI drug discovery company. And so they're definitely do, um, focusing on pharmaceuticals. But what makes them quite different is they're very much focused on longevity pharmaceuticals as well. And a lot of the molecules that they're working with have longevity benefits, but also are focused on specific targets of diseases that occur as we age. Um, I met Alex uh, a couple of years ago uh, at a conference and I had a chat with him about um, using his AI drug discovery uh, platform to see if we could discover natural products which could slow down the aging process as well. So that's what we're busy working on. Um, and, uh, you know, we, what I, I think aging is complex. I think that one master drug is, is not really the answer. I think maybe... In 10, 15 years, we will work out what the master switch is. But for now, with what we know and the technology, targeting the hallmarks of aging is is, is probably the best um, way we can do that. It's not just one size fits all. I think we've got to look at all of the hallmarks and address um, each of them. They're all very much interrelated. But when we work to address all of them, it's a quite a synergistic 
uh, effect that we're having. So yeah, incredibly excited to work with Insilico Medicine. I think they've got some uh, you know just incredibly smart people and systems and processes and and algorithms essentially. Um, and uh, yeah, we will have a. a a product uh, out in market at some point. We're still working on validating it, refining it, and just making sure that we've got the best product available that um, represents both the Insilico Medicine brand as well as the SRW brand. So if someone was just discovering this space, they're just entering longevity and thinking about long-term health span, what would one piece of advice be that you would give them? Um, I think that you, two pieces one is that longevity lifestyle you know you just start there it costs you nothing um and it'll be the first step that you should make um and the second step is to explore clinically validated protocols and uh you know there will be lots more of these protocols coming and we'll we'll continue to refine and improve ours but uh the the, the, the great thing is that we have a, a clinically validated protocol in humans and um, to start there, and uh, and and then just continue to learn, watch people like yourself who are at the forefront of the discovery of these the the, the advances, and um, uh, and also just talk with your doctor as well because it's important that uh, you not only uh, adopt a longevity lifestyle that you take the right supplements, but you don't get any surprises that might have got picked up through. A, a a blood test like you know perhaps a a, a health issue that might uh, it, uh, snatch defeat from the jaws of victory in terms of uh, you know cutting all these efforts short so it's definitely important to make sure that you are monitoring your health um, and optimizing things as you go yes thank you i and i just think it would be worth mentioning that you know the 80 20 rule applies like just doing a little when you start can make a lot of difference in terms of absolutely I, I agree 100 percent. okay so greg if people want to know more about srw labs and the cell system where can they go yeah we've got a website which is srw.co or if you uh, like typing things in at science research wellness.com and our instagram handle is srw underscore labs Okay, excellent. So, Greg, thank you so much for joining us today. It has been great talking with you. Likewise, Richard. Thanks for the opportunity.